Hello and welcome back to the driveway series. This is part four. So the rubble pile has grown quite a bit since the last video. The last video the pathway ended up round about here. Round the pole and then all of that was still covered. So we've been quite busy today. Although it was still warm today, there was a little bit of a cooler wind to help along. So all of this has gone. This here has gone. We started up digging out the drains, the gutters. So over here it's all just on clay. Everything was just directly onto the clay. Obviously that doesn't help with gutters to not have a, a bottom part for a gutter and therefore the plants had free roam. We found a wall, an old wall. You can see the, the bricks following along to here and that's a quite a big stone as a corner piece. It, it doesn't continue any further that way, so they may have just decided this is all okay. I have no idea what was here at some point. Uh, over here, this whole area looks a lot more solid than that area, so this may be an older floor foundation of this building that was supposedly here. See, the only gutter that was properly done was that one. And this one also, it appears to be a later addition. As you can see with the cement or the concrete colouring is a little bit different. Because it's specifically been poured. Oh. I think that covers this update. I will add in a few videos of me hammering away, demolishing the driveway. So I got to, we are using an electric demolition type of a drill. It's a Bosch GSH11E. It's quite a heavy one, but it does get the job done. And then after this part is done, I have to get the angle grinder and cut away around this marble stone. And I have to make a new foundation 
gutter in, gutter or gap along here all the way there and up pour concrete into there and then we put on top of that concrete there will be like a beam like you see on the edge of the sidewalks and that with the rounding down to the asphalt road so that concrete beam put on there and then against that the paving stones will come and that's for this side as well as on this side and then the idea is to have the poles for the, the kiwi structure will be on the inside but the poles will be cut off the rotten part and then raised up onto bricks or proper stones so that the this rotting action does not happen again then this joint here we just got to straighten out a little bit neater with the angle grinder there's some steel already for the concrete foundation area all right I think that covers today's progress thanks for watching along don't forget to like subscribe and have a nice day.